Hello, and this is Firefall. And as you can see, um, this is that character customization bit. Um, I'm at in a stress test for beta, so I'm just che checking it out. Just played a couple of hours on it, but nothing is really good for a free to play game. It reminds me of Borderlands 2 a lot, or Borderlands in general. But anyway, um, as you can see here, the battle frame is you, there's f about five different types, there's five different types. Um, you can get Bodies Biotech, Recon, Engineer. Dreadnought. Now, um, each each five plays different ro roles. Obviously, you can tell by the Dreadnought. He's probably some fat ass, fat -ass tank. Like shooting a fat kid in a barrel. Engineer is probably I've seen engineers in gameplay. Um, they're like turret built, quite typical engineers. Um, recon snipers, you know, just like marksmanship. Um, biotech is quite simple, you're quite much of a healer but you do pack quite a punch for attack power. Front assault one. is assault, simply you're just you're out in the front lines constantly killing mobs or anything you like. Now um, due to the beta, I th uh, there's only a few skin colours, there's a few missing here so I think there's bound to be more once the game actually is out. So. Um, be wary of that. Uh, face, not too sure. There is a little lock thing. Not sure if there's going to be more faces. It only seems like there's only a couple of faces. It's only one and two. Okay, so there's only two face types. Eyes, there's only four eyes. Um, you see there's some empty slots around here, so I'm sure they're going to include some more. Hairstyle, I think there's only two hairstyles. Oh, there's three hairstyles. So you get more hairstyles than face, which is cool. Um, hair color. Oh, there seems to be a loads of hair color type. Um, that's two missing, but I think there might be more uh, once the game release. Obviously, facial hair. There seems to be four, which is pretty cool. So um, not a lot of customization, but you do get five different battle frames, which is pretty cool. So you can play dedicated individual role. Names can be altered here, you can do random appearance, which it just helps people be less creative. Voice, you can change your voice around, smooth, cranky. It's all pretty cool for a beta. Uh, it could be a female or male. And, and that's about it. You can test out the game, you can sign up and try out. And here's some medic gameplay Scares, that I've yeah, played, well, biotech gameplay. It's in place. It's going to take some time to integrate into the valve mechanism. Looks like you've attracted some attention. Hold them off.
My reckon drone. Tiki can find almost anything. I upgraded his scanners myself. I sent him out on a scan, but he hasn't returned yet. So I'm uploading three of his most recent locations to your sin map. You find Tiki, and I'll get to work restoring the thumper. We're in the right spot. He must be close. What are those bubbles coming from the pools? Let's investigate. You'll never find him with those big scavengers around. He's hiding from them. You'll need to take them out first. somewhere else.
off the ground. Who says we need a stinking scanning drone? All we need is the scan hammer that it's carrying. Scan hammer? Scan hammer, scanner, scanner hammer, whatever. Call it what you want. Every drone's got one. We'll have to give it back to Ratchet, but at least it's something. Good idea, oil spill. Just trying to make myself useful and all. Boss, Ratchet sent us three locations where she suspects there to be a high yield of seed crystite. Head over to one and use Ratchet's scan hammer to see if we can find anything. If you want to use the scan hammer, just equip it and slam that puppy on the ground. It'll ignite a seismic wave through the rock and dirt and forward its readings to your sin. If you find something, it'll show up on your sin. If not, just keep looking.